bitch I'm Charlotte So I got my clock today And them niggas be wildin' Somebody got shot today You know I ain't got a college Yeah, I took it the hard way But you don't want a problem You a I get dry today yeah, you know I'm coming I'm all with the money A couple racks have been the same Call them niggas, they drumming, You know it ain't nothing all right, man. Who we got on Futures TV right now? You already know, man. You got Young Peso, man, coming straight from Charlotte. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot of Charlotte shit going on. Born and raised in Charlotte. Yeah, born and raised in Charlotte. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Born and raised in Charlotte. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 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 Yeah, like about like, I want to say, like fifth grade, you know what I'm saying? I've been in Charlotte since like the fifth grade, I want to say. Fifth grade. Okay. What what brought you down, you know, to, to the South? Shit, what brought me to the South? My uh, my pops and shit, you know what I'm saying? He was like a, a like big drug time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, big, big time drug dealer um, in New York and shit, you know what I'm saying? Up there, he had got locked up. Around the time I was born, you know what I'm saying? I think I was like one years old. And uh, during that time, there was a lot of uh, shit going on, a lot of chaos and shit like that. So um, by the time I got like four or five years old, six years old, we had moved to um, New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? So I was staying in New Orleans for a little minute. Uh, actually, Kenner, Louisiana, you know what I'm saying? It was like right not too far from New Orleans. It was right there, you know what I'm saying? So we stayed out there for a little minute. Um, we had to move down there because it was just like I say, it was a lot of shit going on, uh, a whole bunch of crazy shit to where you know what I'm saying. My mom was in, involved and I was involved as a child. So yeah. we had to make moves and um, we started to go down south that way. So we went to Louisiana. We was down there for a minute. You know what I'm saying. And, uh, I went to elementary school down there, and uh, from there. We, uh, once my dad was getting ready to get released, you know what I'm saying, I guess he wanted to go to North Carolina, that's where he wanted to be stationed. And yeah. He was released, you know what I'm saying, from prison and shit. So uh, I guess we went to North Carolina, we had to move there, we stationed there. And uh, he got released, and you know what I'm saying, I've been here ever since, since like the fifth grade, you know what I'm saying, I went to uh, Sugar Creek Charter School, you know what I'm saying, in the fifth grade, that's why I started that, you know what I'm saying, when I moved out there. Okay. And uh, what like what side of Charlotte we in, we on right now like? Right now, uh, shit, we by uh, North Lake. So I'm saying like what was what, like what artists is like from this side of town, like the, the side, side town? the side where you from Charlotte? Like. Oh, where I'm from in Charlotte. Yeah. Okay. I'm from the east, so you got you got Shaq, you got Tang, you know what I'm saying? You got you got uh, you got De Niro. You got, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying, from the East. It's so many, I can't even really name. Yeah. It's just so many, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? I don't want to forget nobody, but goddamn, like, there's just so many, you feel me? It's just a whole lot of niggas that's out here working, putting in work. Okay. Now, you know, I be seeing Charlotte a lot on, you know, on like the first 48 and shit like that. Um, you know, it seems like Charlotte is, is kind of crazy. Uh, how involved was you into like that street life growing up down here? And you know, like, how was it for you? I mean, I'm, I mean, I ain't. I mean, the street life. That shit was the street life. You feel me? Like, on some shit like where growing up, or like shit was like. You know what I'm saying? Charlotte wasn't even like. I ain't even gonna say it was always that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like. Around fourth grade, fifth grade, when I first moved down here, you know what I'm saying? Shit was, I was in middle school. Shit was, shit was cool. Too many bodies weren't dropping and nothing like that. From what I know of, you know what I'm saying? When I first came out here, I know Head Valley was going crazy. You know what I'm saying? I know them niggas was, you know what I'm saying? They was into a lot of shit. They from the east too? Nah, they from the north side. Okay. You know what I'm That's where they reside at. They from the north side. Yeah. That's uh, J-Way and them boys. Okay. Yeah, all them icy money niggas and shit, them niggas from the north side, them niggas, you feel me? So at that time, there was a lot of shit going on over there. Uh, I know that was going on, and, uh, you know, uh, just, but as far as just growing up and shit, it was just any, like, just being anywhere, you feel me? Yeah. And just, like, Charlotte, I guess, just ain't had that light 
But growing up here, it's just like anywhere else. Like growing up in, you know what I'm saying, in New York or growing up anywhere else, the street shit is still there, you feel me? Yeah. Everywhere you go, you know what I'm saying, you gonna have to defend yourself, you gonna have to protect what's yours. Yeah. Shit like that, that's just everywhere, you feel me? So growing up, it was just the same shit like anywhere else, you know what I'm saying? Like, and as far as being involved, you know what I'm saying, I would just, I was just making a living on how I had to make a living. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and protecting what was mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't even about no street shit or no shit like that. It's yeah. just about living. You know what I'm saying? And growing up and doing what you gotta do. You feel me? If you working a job or if you doing this or if you doing this or if you doing music or whatever you doing. You know what I'm saying? You gotta protect what's yours and you gotta. You know what I'm saying? You gotta work, you gotta make something happen, you know what I'm saying? So. Most definitely. And I seen um, on your Instagram page, you had a picture and you had something like, in the caption, you said something about you getting shot four times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I got shot, uh, I say probably about around like 2010. Yeah. 2011 and shit. I had fucked around and, um, after high school. I had uh, left high school, left Vance and shit. I was going to Vance at the time. So I ended up leaving Vance and I was still doing my music at the time, but I ain't really necessarily know the business aspect of it. So mm -hmm. what I did is I just was like, fuck it, I might have just go back to New York and just try to, you feel me, do my thing up there. Yeah. So I went back to my hometown, you know what I'm saying, like where I was born and shit, where I left, like, you know what I'm saying, when I was, when I was young. So I went back there, but I still got some family up there or whatnot. So I tried to do my thing up there, whatever got mixed up with the wrong, you know what I'm saying? The wrong, you know what I'm saying, time, wrong place at the wrong time, basically. Long story short, and uh, and the game ended up, uh, you know what I'm saying? Trying to rob or something? Yeah, basically it was on some shit like a robbery type shit, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. nigga, like, basically on some shit like I ain't wanna, you feel me? I ain't wanna get a nigga nothing on some shit. Yeah. You feel me? So the nigga shot me, and uh, shot me one time, I hit the ground, and he shot me three more times, you know what I'm saying? So it was like he was really trying to like take you out? Yeah, I felt like he was trying to take me out, but I honestly felt like the only reason why I'm still here on some shit is because the nigga ain't really ain't had no more bullets on some shit, because yeah. when he shot me, the only reason he stopped shooting because the shit started clicking. Yeah. Once the shit started clicking, him and this, him and this nigga just... And you know the dude that did it and all that? Nah, I don't really know the nigga that okay. did it on some shit. Yeah. I know some niggas that they might know, you know what I'm saying? But I don't really know the nigga that did the shit. Oh, okay. I can't really explain the shit really too much, you know what I'm saying? But, okay. you know, that's how that shit went down. But shot four times, you know. I was in a coma for a little bit. And uh, once I got out the hospital, um, my peoples and shit that was down here back in North Carolina, they was like, yo, brother, just, just come back down here, you feel me? All my family was like, come back down here, you know what I'm saying? So I came back down here, I wanna say like, uh, around 2014, like going into 2015, moved back to the city and shit, and uh, I've been here ever since, you know what I'm saying? And uh, got back on my music shit. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep mashing the gas with it. Okay, so you said you got back on your music shit. So, like, what was the first um, single that you think, like, really put you out there to the people? Uh, first single that put me out. So you dropped a mixtape with... Oh, yeah, um, okay. So, yeah, I dropped a mixtape with um, Be Easy. With Easy. DJ Be Easy from Greensboro. Yeah. Dropped the tape with Bro. And, um, I want to say the first, the first song that really got me love, you know what I'm saying? Lil Buzz was uh, Birkin. It was it's on the tape. It's called Birkin. Now the uh, video I just posted the other day um, on a, the NBA Young Boy outside today, um, and the other song that I posted probably like I think it was about a month ago, two months ago, um, in my city. It seemed like you got like a rapping slash singing style. You know what I'm saying? Like you you can switch it up. You feel me? So like. Let the people know your style and shit. Like, what, what are people gonna expect when they, you know, hear something from your peso? When they hear your music. That's that's bad. You hit you hit it right on the head. That's basically what they gonna expect. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, versatility, like all the way around. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could come at you on some, 
on some, on some using, using a little bit of bubbles. And then, you know what I'm saying, I can come at you on some just straight dirt, spitting some shit like that or whatnot. But, um, you know what I'm saying, that's basically it. Like, just really however I feel on the track, you know what I'm saying? No, I seen um, probably like a month ago when you was on your Instagram story, I posted that shit too. You were basically saying, yo, these niggas that's dropping lists, y'all better mention my name. Like, I'm putting in work. Basically saying that you, you slept on. Do you feel like you slept on, like, in North Carolina or, or the Charlotte area? Like, your honest opinion. Uh, I ain't gonna say I feel like I'm slept on. I feel like niggas just, so certain motherfuckers just ain't paying respect, though. Uh -huh. They just not paying respect, but that just all will come with the game, though. You know what I'm saying? I guess this is I'm not working hard enough. That's just how I look at it. I ain't working hard enough. But that's all it is, cause it's just a lot of people that know what's going on and they see what's going on, and it's just like, you know what I'm saying? They know the talent there. Everything is there. You feel me? It's just I don't know. You feel me? This is what's understood. I need to be explained, but at the same time, it's just like. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, I ain't gonna say I'm un un underrated or however, whatever you said. What did you say again? I said, do you feel like you um, slept on? Slept on, yeah. I ain't gonna say I'm slept on. Because niggas definitely woke. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Like, most definitely. They definitely woke, but they just, you know what I'm saying? They got their earplugs and type of shit. You did. Most definitely. Now, that um, the pesos stories, that's dropping when? That's supposed to be dropped. It was supposed to drop last month, but it's dropping this month. I'm just trying to strategic the right way, make sure everything is right, you know what I'm saying? Do the right steps that's needed to be done from from my knowledge or what I know that I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Um, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna bring the tape out the right way. And you know, I'm dropping it this month. It's definitely gonna drop this month. So what's this month? Oh, shit, March. Okay, so not this month. It's gonna drop April. I'm tripping. It's what supposed to mean? drop this month. But it's gonna drop like the first week of April, the second week of April. Okay. Let the niggas know like what what can they expect from it, you know what I'm saying? Like what you doing with the tape. You could just you know what I'm saying, I'm doing the whole well basically on the tape, if you don't know already, um the peso stories, which I'm dropping right now, uh, in April, is uh it's just gonna be like a whole a whole bunch of just me remixing a whole bunch of the industry beats, you know what I'm saying, which y'all heard probably a lot of other people doing, you know what I'm saying, or whatnot. But um, I'm gonna have the original tape, which is the new wave, that's out now on Spring Rally and Live Mixtape. That's out now, and then I'm gonna have the Peso Stories. I'm gonna drop that shit like every other, every time I drop a new wave, I'm gonna drop a Peso story. you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it's gonna be New Wave 1, which is already out, and then New Wave 2, which I'm working on now. I'm done with Peso Stories, about to put that out, drop the visuals, the Peso Stories. You know and you, you rapping over other beats? Rapping over other beats yeah. on Peso Stories. I'm going to snap on that shit. Like the dedication? You know like Lil Wayne? Yeah, basically yeah. like Lil Wayne, how he did, and go hard for the city, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just let niggas know what's really going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to bring that up. Another Instagram post I seen, you posted, it was a video talking about how North Carolina can get on. Like, it was basically saying, the big homies or the people that's successful get on, but they don't come back to their city and you know invest in you know the, the, the people that that's in their city. Can you elaborate on that more though? Like, do you think that's well? Of course you think that's accurate. You posted it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, that's accurate. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like uh, like you can't make nobody do nothing. You know what I'm saying? At yeah. the end of the day, but you know. If I was to get on, if I, you know what I'm saying, if I was to, you know, make that move and, and be in a position to, um, you know what I'm saying, you know, put other artists that may have had that talent or, you know, be in a position to do what I'm doing, you know, that's going to be one of the main things I do before I get any nigga from another city, you know what I'm saying, from wherever. Mm -hmm. I'm going to always look and scout talent in my own city, you know what I'm saying, like where I'm at, where I came up at, the niggas that I fuck with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like people like Fantasia, you know what I'm saying? Like she ain't really you feel me, she making moves, you know, no disrespect, but she the type of person that could be really putting a bag behind somebody out here. Like she yeah. could really be making some revenue off somebody else. And that's how the game go, you know what I'm saying? Like she ain't doing that and a couple other people, I don't know if and Anthony Hamilton, yeah. I don't know what he doing. 
you know what I'm saying? But it's just like, you know, a couple people, even P.D. Pablo, motherfuckers that ain't really buzzing like that, you know what I'm saying? That ain't yeah. really doing, that ain't in that, in that lane no more. It's niggas out here, you know what's going on. So you could really lead the way, you know what I'm saying? Most and definitely. you might have the budget that the nigga might need, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, that's what's black in the city. And, and um, he hit that shit right on the head when he said it. So I had to repost it, you know what I'm saying? And, and put that out there. Okay. Now, you know what I'm saying? For somebody that's trying to, you know, follow you, find your tapes and all that, man, like where can they follow you at? They can follow me on IG. Everything is uh, Young Peso 704. Everything. Young Peso 704. Everything. Uh, Twitter, IG, Facebook, all that shit. So if you want to follow me, that's what it is. Young Peso 704. And uh, the tape on Spin Real Live Mixtape, the new wave on there right now. Spin Real Live Mixtape, you can go get that. Hosted by DJ B Easy. Um, I'm fucking with the whole New Carolina movement. You know what I'm saying? I respect them. You know what I'm saying? Highly. And what he got going on and what he doing. You know what I'm saying? He showed love to a lot of artists out there. But um, you definitely can follow me on the Spin Rug. A lot of mistakes right now with the new wave. I'm on, it's on YouTube, SoundCloud, all that shit too. But you know what I'm saying? Really Google. You know, they, they let you know everything. But I got the, uh, the Peso stories about to drop next month. So, you know what I'm saying? That's going to drop. The, uh, make sure you, you definitely keep a lookout for the peso stories because that shit gonna be crazy when I drop that shit. I'm going on some whole other shit. Real, real versatile with it. And um, the new wave too coming right behind it. And I got visuals coming for y'all too. I got all that shit, you know what I'm saying? And there's a whole lot of Carolina shit going on. A whole lot of Charlotte shit going on. You know what I'm saying? Which is TV. You already know how we rocking, bro. So, uh, you know, it's love, bro. All right.